doing a quick video here if you can hear me over my loud car. As you can see, I have a wire running outside my car. What's going on? Do I need a better ground? No. What we're going to do is we have a second run running to the back as this is first one here that runs through the car. And why we are doing this is because I'm having voltage issues because I did a battery delete with lithium. I called Ohio Generator, told him my problem. He asked me did I do a second run uh, for the stock electrical and for the alternator to see if the voltage is dropping. I have previous videos, quick clips of the difference between just hooking up a battery in front of the car and AGM, but does it matter? I don't know. It made a difference. It helped. The uh, alternator was seeing that the car was fully charged <clears throat> through itself. So hopefully this works. I literally just had that wire ran from here to this uh, first battery. I was going to go to the second battery, really, that's coming from the amp, but I don't know if it really makes a difference. I can try switching it. If it doesn't work there, I can switch it over here. But so far, my voltage is looking really good at idle, but it usually does whenever I first start the car. It's a 14.7. It's charging the lithium. Now, what the problem is, the voltage will drop as soon as the lithium is, quote, charged, okay, and it's doing its job. But when I'm in idle, I don't want it to be running at 13 volts. That's just not ideal. Um, and I have to rev the engine for it to do anything. So hopefully this here makes a difference. Stay tuned, we'll find out. I'm gonna let it run for uh, 10 to 30 minutes. Usually after a couple minutes, it would drop to uh, 13.5, 13.4 literally the resting voltage of these JYHP 40s. All right, so no luck on the uh, run from the battery to the front battery delete as a second run. The voltage did not change. It went back down to 13.3 to 13.5. So I said, okay, let's just go with the run from the alternator back and see if that makes a difference. Again, on startup, the voltage was great. And then as soon as it comes down to an idle, and I uh, give it a little bit of the beans, voltage just comes right back down. Darn. Just need a smaller pulley, it looks like. As soon as I give a tap, there's no issues. As soon as I get it to, what, one grand, not even? I mean, it's not terrible, but it is, you know, I thought I'd be getting higher voltage, but it just might be this car. Jeez, just give it a little, little tap right where we should be. <laughs> Stock regulator problems. Voltage seems to be holding in the 14s. You give it a little rev, and instead of just automatically dropping down to 13.3, 13.4, we got some voltage. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's it's staying there. After more time of messing with this, I can see the difference. You know, it's not a huge difference. As you can see, we're still dipping into the 13s, but we're not sitting at battery voltage. That's what I was sitting at. I'm like, how am I even charging these batteries? Like barely anything. Um, let's see, turn the AC on. Wow, look at that. It's not bad. I was dipping down at 12.5 with the AC on. I can deal with that. That's normal. That's totally normal. I mean, you can see, look at that, it's dipping down to 13.4, 13.5. I think it's just having a hard time charging the lithium, how much lithium I have in here at the idle. I'm out of idle that the alternator is spinning too. See if as soon as I kick this up a little bit, let's see, let it rest. Let it rest down below one, see what she does. We stay 14s. And 13.8. Oh, 
I'll take that. I mean, that's better than what I had before. Um, less than what I had with the stock alternator, but yet again, stock alternators aren't really meant for high output, so they do better at a lower idle kind of design for the vehicle. But that is definitely a step up in the right direction, maybe a smaller pulley after I install this as well, and that should bring my voltage up to just, just a little bit, little bit higher. Four to six weeks later. So, came to a conclusion, uh, threw the AGM back under the hood, took the battery delete out to see if it's something with no battery being there for the stock electrical in between the alternator and the rear lithium that's in the back. Um, and wow, <laughs> the difference is huge. If you see here, I'm uh, sitting at 14.3 at idle. No load, I throw the AC on. The voltage stays 14.2, 14.3, whatever it is. And, and, and that's, that's normal. Um, when I had just the battery delete up front, this thing was sitting at 13.4, 13.5, 13.6. I turned the AC on, dropped down to 12.8. The alternator wasn't putting out enough amperage or something. There was something going on. Um, and then another thing I noticed was whenever I started playing music here, after I had the batteries charged, the lithium's charged, I would play it, roll out, it was staying at 14 volts. I gave it some, you know, some juice, full tilt boogie. And soon as I stopped playing, the music, the, the voltage went down to 13.4, right back to how it was. So just to show you what it's doing, voltage is gonna drop because I'm not gonna give it any gas. Making beats for the streets and ladies screaming in that tap up for In your vehicle as it's supposed to be where your uh, AGM or your stock lead acid is up front so something with the alternator communicating with the battery and sending amperage or voltage whatever you want to call it to the vehicle at certain idles has something to do with the front battery not being there so if you guys take anything from these videos I put together of the problems that I had with switching to lithium with a uh, DIY battery delete kit. Um, I hope this helps if you have any voltage issues at idle specifically, um, but I'm happy. So all I have to do now, since I have an AGM up front, this car I don't use every day. So it's gonna sit and I don't want the lithiums uh, being drained by the AGM batteries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw an isolator that Todd Wolf gave to me for me helping him design an enclosure for his four QL712s, uh, fourth order wall. And he uh, just gave me the isolator and I was like, man, that's perfect because I want to try something. So this works. Um, hopefully you guys learned something through my mistakes, through my uh, challenges. And hey, I'll see you guys next time. Stay living loud, everyone.